I believe you may have many questions, such as, who is the person pointing at John Kramer and apparently capturing him? It appears that this movie will not be like the others because in this film the games don't teach anything, but instead they will give an incredible lesson to a group of fraudsters. But pay attention because, even in this trailer, they make reference to things that happened in the first movie, like this scene showing us the famous bathroom where it all began. But don't worry. One detail of this new story is that you don't have to have seen the previous ones to understand this one. So this has many people intrigued. If you're a fan of this amazing movie, you won't be able to miss all the details of the new Saw X trailer. How is it possible that a group of swindlers managed to defraud John Kramer without having any idea who this man is? What will happen with the story? How do the new games and traps work? But above all, what details did you not see from this trailer and what can we expect in this new horror story? That's why in this video we will talk about the hidden details and messages that you didn't notice in the new Saw X trailer. In the new Saw X trailer, we see how the story is now completely different from what we're used to. This time we see how they use a setting in Mexico and how they begin a fascinating story of scams and deceptions. It turns out that the creator and father of these psychological games suffers a scam by a group of supposed doctors in Mexico. Apparently, they had the cure and solution to his illness. John Kramer, the main character known as Jigsaw, was sick with cancer. In the original movie, it is revealed that Kramer has an inoperable glioblastoma, which is an aggressive type of brain tumor. His diagnosis and corresponding prognosis trigger his transformation into Jigsaw and his mission to make others appreciate their life through his deadly tests. How can we forget that first movie where we all were speechless at the end of the film when we realized what happened? In the first scenes, they start asking how it is possible that a group of people had defrauded Jigsaw himself. Then we see that a doctor is giving a regrettable message and tells him that he has little time left. Then this doctor tells him that he knows of a treatment that could save his life and that's when he presents the team of doctors who will be able to do that miraculous work. Then we see that the procedure will take place in Mexico. The doctor tells him that this procedure has saved the lives of many people. Then it seems we already see our character in Mexico and he meets a woman who says that these doctors saved her life. Of course, this woman is also part of the scam. We see how they are performing the procedure to save his life, but what they didn't know is that they are about to condemn their lives forever. Let's remember that the main purpose of this person is always to give people a lesson and make them learn to value life. This is the central idea of the movie and is what has marked this story over the years. Facing the prospect of his own death, Kramer experienced a kind of epiphany about the value of life. In his view, people tend not to fully appreciate their lives and take their existence for granted until they face the possibility of their end. So we can imagine that what they did to him will bring terrible consequences for these fraudsters who pretended to be doctors to sell him a supposed operation that would save his life, but we see that it was not so. Then we see him face reality when he was notified that the tumor was never removed and therefore he was never cured of his disease. Then we see how he is drawing one of his traps and tells the doctor that he still has a lot to do. Then we see a preview of what the traps will be and each of the people in them. We see what they were before, nurses, doctors and people who participated in the scam. Now we see that on this occasion the games will be different and will be observed in the same place. That's when it all begins. Now on this occasion he will give a lesson to those who tried to scam him. Now they will learn the value of life and the value of not playing with the lives of others. But what you hadn't realized is that apparently the whole movie revolves around one place and that place is a hospital. We might even think that this hospital is the hospital where they performed the supposed surgery that was never carried out. We also see a person entering with a weapon in search of our character and even manages to face him. So we can imagine that these scenes will be very intense and dramatic. In the end we can see this woman. If you don't remember this woman, she was the first survivor of the game. Let's remember that she escaped from her trap and that made her the first survivor. 
That's why, seeing that this woman managed to survive, she was recruited to teach and thus be able to continue Jigsaw's legacy. Let's remember that the woman, whose name is Amanda, has been infiltrated in various games and several movies so we can think that this time she will also have an important role. What would you say if I tell you there's a theory that the doctor who survived in the first movie could return in this movie? We recall that Dr. Gordon was a doctor who survived in the first movie, and then we found out he also became an assistant to the evil character. Theories indicate that he could return as part of those who create the traps for the supposed doctors and that he could help make everything much more psychological since these would be traps carried out by a real doctor and not a scammer. There are many curiosities and incredible details like the first Saw movie was made with a budget of just $1.2 million and was filmed in 18 days, but grossed over $100 million worldwide. Guinness Record The Saw franchise holds the Guinness Record as the horror movie series with the most continuous sequels. With a total of nine movies until 2021, Saw has left an indelible mark on the horror genre. Tobin Bell's illness. Actor Tobin Bell, who plays Jigsaw, suffered from meningitis during the filming of Saw 3. Despite the illness, Bell insisted on finishing all his scenes. Dr. Gordon, the co-creator, actor Carrie Elwes, who plays Dr. Gordon in the first movie, won a lawsuit against the producers for breach of contract. The dispute was finally resolved with Elwes returning for Saw 3D. Recognition at the Scream Awards Saw won several awards at the Scream Awards, including Best Horror Movie in 2006 and a prize for Fear Icon for Tobin Bell in 2007. An indestructible Tobin Bell. Tobin Bell, despite his character dying in Saw 3, has appeared in every movie in the series, thanks to flashbacks and recordings. So we can be eager to see after a while this great movie and see how this great story finally ends. Will you go see the movie? Are you a fan? Tell me what you like most about this story throughout the movies. Do you think it will be a good movie? Leave your comments so we can read it. Remember, if you like topics about movies or theories, subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. We upload videos every day.